King Kong is my favorite film of all time, and today, it's its 90th anniversary. So let's head back to 1933 and review King Kong on its 90th anniversary. Major spoilers ahead, by the way, and also the production will have its own video because it's just so long and winding. Anywho, let's get on to the video. The film starts off with a man named Weston heading onto a ship. Jack Driscoll lets him onto the ship, and on the ship is a filmmaker named Carl Denham who's looking for a new leading lady for his film. He goes out into the city and finds Andaro, who is an actress who is looking for work. They discuss it over a cup of coffee, and he lets her onto his film. They get onto a ship heading to an island where she meets Jack Driscoll, and Carl discusses where they're heading. He discusses Kong, and they finally see the island. The natives discuss how they want Anne, and then Jack confesses his love towards Anne, and then Anne gets kidnapped by the natives, and then we see Kong for the first time, which is an amazing shot. We then see the group fighting a stegosaurus while trying to get Anne, build a raft, and fight a brontosaurus. We then see the infamous log scene bridge, and then we see Jack discussing to Denim how he wants to go save Anne. Jack gets into Kong's lair, and he sees Kong fighting a sea creature of some sort. Then, a pteranodon attacks Anne, and unsurprisingly, gets killed by Kong in an amazingly influential and epic scene. Jack and Anne then escape and head back to the wall, and then Kong goes to get Anne and breaks down the wall. Jeez, Kong is epic as hell. Then, he gets gassed out by Denim, and then heads to New York City for a show. Jack and Anne are actually getting married soon, and then Denim announces them on stage with Kong, and then when Denim allows the press to go get Kong's pictures taken, Kong goes crazy and breaks out of his goddamn chains. I'm not joking, this scene is just crazy. Kong then gets Anne back, where they head to the Empire State Building. Kong then destroys an elevated train platform with people on it, and then Jack and Denim discuss what they are going to do to save Anne, and they decide on getting planes involved to shoot down Kong from the Empire State Building, where he climbs on top of, and they shoot him, and he falls off. And it wasn't the planes that killed him, it was Beauty who killed the Beast. This, in my opinion, and hopefully your opinion, is the greatest film of all time. It is perfect in almost every way. And that, my friends, is why I'm giving this film a 10 out of 10. I have absolutely no words. Tune in on Friday, where I will be going over an in-depth history on the making of King Kong.